so we're back here at Conversations with Manny J Style and Friends and we're here with Christiana. So I just really want to dwell into the good league because that's what, you know, like our connection is and, you know, like with the philanthropy and uh, with the homeless and stuff. So when you started your nonprofit, what were the first few challenges that you had um, in developing it? Sure. Um, the Probably the first thing is getting people involved, you know, trying to find the core group, you know, your your board of directors or the core group that's going to make everything happen. <laughs> Manny and, like, and I are like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you want to find people that you trust, that you can count on, that are reliable. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is L.A. That is hard to do. People got busy schedules. Uh, and. And it's not that people might not have their heart in the right place. It might just be that they have too much on their plate. Mm -hmm. So it's that was probably one of the first challenges is, you know, explaining to people what I want to do. And, you know, at first I was like, I want to do everything. I want to do this. I want to do that. And and then, you know, you have your, your group of, uh, well, especially one of my friends, um, Camille, shout out to her, who's on our board of directors now, who kind of helped me like, you're so excited, focus. You know, right. focus, bring it in, bring yeah. it in, Have focus your more, energy, yeah. tunnel vision, the energy mm -hmm. and laser it in right. to mm -hmm. a particular cause. Um, and so that's where we began focusing on, you know, the two things of one, reaching out to the homeless and making sure those um, that resources are going into the community where they need them most. Mm -hmm. And then also on the flip side, getting young people involved and helping you know, influencers start caring about giving and young people start caring about giving and actually doing it. Um, so the hardest part was finding the right people and then really focusing it down and, and just creating those first few action steps. And of course, all the legal stuff. Yeah. Definitely. That's not funny. Yeah, all. it's funny because when you were talking about that, me and Amanda were like, "Yep, yep, there's that, that. That's what we're doing right now. Yeah. <laughs> Finding the right people." You yeah. Know? So. Yeah. Everybody says they're ready to go until it's yeah. time to go. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, one of the biggest challenges, whatever you're gonna do in life, is getting started. Yeah. But really, once you get started, the whole thing is seeing it through, building a team, seeing it through, and sometimes you have to condense your vision to pretty much make it make sense for that particular right. timing. It's not that you can't grow your vision and do everything no. that you want to do. Yeah. It's the fact that you have to sometimes bring it in, have a focus, sit back, because you know we're, we're starting this, this podcast and this web series and we're learning a lot within a couple weeks. And we still got a lot to learn. And, and you know, those things can, can deter you. Like when we, we started with uh, Hope Healing in December, still learning a lot we're learning so the learning curve and the journey is the best part is the best part of it you know what i'm saying and mm -hmm. don't allow that to scare you that's the goal like that's the that's yeah. the real thing challenge yeah. yourself to to face what it is learn what it is overcome what it is and, and just don't allow that to scare you yeah. so let me ask you this chris so what's been um the biggest challenges since we're talking about challenges mm -hmm. for growth or what do you see right now being the challenges for growth I think the biggest challenge for growth is, it sounds so cliche to say, but it's just yourself. Okay. Um, so, you know, as far as... Not cliche at all. It's really mm -hmm. true. Is, yeah. But I guess that's why they say, you know, they say it's a cliche say it so many times. But... Why do you think... Why, okay, so <laughs> let me ask you then. So why do you feel yourself is the biggest challenge then? I think because, you know, we let ourselves get distracted. You know, there's always... Like I said, obstacles are things that might hold you back. It might be a financial reason, a mental reason. You might not be in the right headspace, or you might be procrastinating on something. And sometimes that comes from the fears that we have. Right, you know, right. we're being af we're afraid of not doing it right or not being good enough. Mm -hmm. That's probably usually the biggest thing we're afraid of. Not, you know, if we make something, is it going to come out good? Like, is it even going to be worth it? Is am I going to even want to tell people about this? You know, yeah, you <laughs> like, have your uh, limiting self beliefs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, there's all these um, self beliefs or s lies that we tell ourselves of, of what to believe. You know, I'm to this or I'm to that. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough energy. I'm too tired. I have too much to do. I'm too busy. You know, all these lies that we're telling ourselves. And it's just getting past that. So, a lot of it, I think, is, you know, reading and being around motivating people and 
also just making sure that whatever you're putting into your mind and body and your environment is going to be positive and help you get to that next step and I think one of the main things is you know just every day focusing on refocusing yeah focusing yeah. on refocusing and mm -hmm. really figuring out you know on your purpose uh, what that is and reminding yourself every day what your purpose is and then acting based on that and not based on all the obstacles in the environment. So do you have like a, like Keep a, moving. Do you have like a morning routine or a ritual or something that you may do? Yeah, I think the morning, especially morning routines are so crucial. There's a book actually called okay. The Morning Miracle oh. or The Miracle Morning. One of those. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it's a miracle morning. And it's so good. I definitely recommend reading it. It'll get your whole life together in the morning. And um, I think that if you, uh, for me, you know, I have two dogs. So I have to walk my dogs in the morning. Like as soon as I start moving, they know it's time to go. So, but I use that, mm -hmm. you know, 20 minutes or so while I'm walking them to kind of realign myself. Mm -hmm. um, I use that time to not look at my phone from the time that I wake up until the time that I'm done with this like gap of time in my morning, I do not look at my phone. And people get really mad at me sometimes. <laughs> like, what do you mean you've been up for an hour and a half? I text you and it's important. But like, I'm sorry, I have to live my life. I have to do me and make sure my mental thing is ready mm -hmm. so I can get to your text message. So in the morning I uh, walk the dogs, I do a whole like gratitude routine. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that I've chosen as a sign for me to look at from the universe is, um, is green like the, the a color of green the bright color of green which mm -hmm. i find in trees and grass and and plants and mm -hmm. i feel like it's really good con to connect with mm -hmm. nature in the morning okay so i focus on the nature because i'm in downtown so i'm like there's very little spots of nature right so i'm like <laughs> staring at this tree um okay. and i just go through what i'm thankful for so okay. i try to connect with the universe through nature and really list every single thing that i'm grateful for mm -hmm. i talk about you sometimes in there Aww. and you know my friends and family um, you know whether it be the studio I'm thank I thank every time mm -hmm. I walk into the studio I I just take a breath and say thank you I have this space right um, so I think having those moments so that's that part and I get back in have my cup of tea and I will um, read for like 15 minutes and then after that I have a notebook and I'll write down um, a couple of my goals like the major goals and things that I the big mm -hmm. things and then a couple little things um, and then I write my action list for the day of what I need to do and, and what I have like mm -hmm. a shoot or the bookings or the this and the that these edits I got to send these photos I got to run these errands so I put that all on the list and I just make sure to prioritize based on what are what are the actions that are going to have the biggest impact on my goals mm -hmm. in my career or mm -hmm. my clients etc and so once I have that done then I um, look at my phone yeah. and wow. start the day. Yeah. So long, and then I try that, to like also long, stretch or like how long you know, is that process? <laughs> do a little thing <laughs> in there. Because how long is that process? Because I was listening like to hour. something. It, see, I was listening hour to something so, the other day about Sometimes that. a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I can fit in, a, like I'll try to, not every day, it just also depends. Like I might fit in like 10 to 15 minutes of meditation or a 15 mm -hmm. minute little workout. Right. Um, I have been trying to end that process, do like an hour of work and then go work out. It's like a new thing that I'm trying. Oh. So I don't know. We're going to see mm -hmm. how that all goes. But I think one of the other things to remember and just I know I'm kind of talking a lot, but well, as far as like focusing and really refocusing good. and s how you said getting started is one of the most difficult things. I think that it's important to get started, but then also evaluate and change it up and keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't just keep yeah. doing the same thing because that's the definition of insanity. If it's obviously not working if you're still where you're yeah, at. If it's not working. Right. Yeah. You're still there. So stop doing that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's change it up and you know try to find the right thing. Oh yeah, so, definitely. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. So let, pause. So Chris is talking about her morning routine. What's mm -hmm. your morning routine? Oh, thank you for asking, Manny J style. <laughs> well, <laughs> my morning routine. <laughs> well, um, basically, um, I wake up. Well, that's um, a good. Yeah, that's, a good <laughs> that's a really good. I open my eyes. Hey, I'm that's one kidding. thing we all have to you know, be thankful for. You know, I wake up in the morning every day, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well. Honestly, like it's really hard for me to um, to do a morning routine because, like, besides working in fashion, I also work in a medical field and I work night shift. Mm. So there are times that I come home in the morning, but whatever happens, whether I sleep during the day or I sleep during the night, I always light my candle. Okay. So I always have my candles lit and just you know take a few deep breaths and just like things that 
you know what I'm grateful for just like what Christiana does is yeah I, I just close my eyes and just be like I'm grateful for XYZ um, I, I, I always have my top three it's always family uh, personal and uh, my career so I always do that and you know I make sure that um, like I meditate um, it's difficult for me to meditate because you know so I have ADHD and I'm just like oh this is what I need to do this is what I need to do but mm -hmm. what thing that helps me is listening to a, a meditation podcast okay. and to just help me walk through how the meditation works okay. and, and also I have my trusty notebook and I list down my goals and you know that what I need to do today and stuff and yeah and just keep on continue working that's good yeah. that's good. whether I work during the day or during the night that's always I light a candle I meditate and I write my goals and just work yeah. oh, what about yeah. you Manny J style well <laughs> <laughs> so to be quite honest to be very honest um, I'm definitely on a different journey in my life which is I've actually opened me up to be able to achieve or well, to pursue more of my goals but to learn a lot more about myself and my purpose mm -hmm. so recently I've started a morning routine. <laughs> and when I say recently, <laughs> it's recent. <laughs> first uh, week. <laughs> maybe like, like first two days month. ago? Maybe, no, <laughs> honestly, honestly, this year, and to be quite honestly, the beginning of the year, I started a, a lot of new routines. And I, I see where it's leading me to. And I can see difference in my lifestyle as well. Mm. But, you know, trying to keep it a routine, that's, that's the problem. But what I, what I will say is this. I have a board, a uh, couple boards. I have a web um, that I wrote out of not just like my goals for the year, but kind of my goals in life. It's kind of like my road map. And mm -hmm. so I wrote this road map beginning of the year. And also I have my calendar and I have another board where I wrote right down everything that I have to do <laughs> and what right. I'm working on. Right. So everybody's like, how are you working on so many different projects and everything? I have a roadmap now. Mm -hmm. And my roadmap, mm -hmm. I allow my web to connect. So every time I think about a person or think about an idea or think about something I should do, whether it's from fashion, whether it's from the community, from Hope Healing, whether it's from this park, whatever it is, I write it down on my web and I connect it. And wherever it connects to, I pick up the phone or I send an email or I write something down and I call and I call it out speak it to the universe so in the morning time I look at that road map and see where I'm being led to mm -hmm. and with that being said I take the time in my shower while I'm brushing my teeth and I meditate put on my little meditation like I look I have a thing called 10 percent you meditate happier. while you brush your teeth when I'm in the shower <laughs> when I'm in the shower. They're supposed to be sitting still. I am sitting still. <laughs> I'm sitting still. How do you sit still in the shower? You, you sitting still, you got the water flowing on you and there's that. It's called water depuration. It's the best thing. You ain't try meditating in the shower, go try it. That's the uh, meditation we're managing stuff. That's my but meditation. But you're still saving water, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm still, yeah. still, 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 still saving Still water, water conscious. Very, very much so water conscious. <laughs> Getting my good five, ten this minute guy. meditation on. Okay. But it's not that long, but it's long enough for me to get my thoughts. Because I love the water. I love just having those shower hit me and everything. Yeah, so me too. It's just, it's, it's, it opens me up in a lot of different ways. So anyway, I do that for, like I said, about five to ten minutes while I'm, before I get to washing up my body, Miss Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, then I hop out and everything, brush my teeth, get ready to go. And then when I get in my car, I listen to my podcast, I listen to my inspirational stuff, I get in there and just kind of dive into what I want my day to be. And then what I've started doing is visualizing what I want a day. So I connect back to my web and I connect back to what my meditation led me to and whatever that podcast or whatever that video is that I listen to, I bring that all back together. And it helps guide my day throughout the day. Cause I start my morning at eight o'clock every morning. So. Mm -hmm you know, I'm out the door. So in my mornings, my days don't usually end to one or two o'clock in, in, in the morning next time. So, you know, I let that kind of guide my day. So that's my morning, my routine. So with that go. being said, 
Why we're gonna take a break. I'm gonna get Chris some water right now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're gonna come back and everything and we're gonna hop into some new questions and everything. Make sure you all check out our channel, make sure you subscribe and uh, we'll be back.